Hello all, uh, today we will discuss about uh, the difference between the DynamoDB mapper and DynamoDB enhanced client. So these two are may, may major, plays a major role when you want to connect your Java application or any application to, uh, to Amazon DynamoDB. So let us see the uh, implementation of DynamoDB enhanced client at the end of this video. So let's discuss, first of all, let's discuss why we need this DynamoDB client and what is the difference between these two enhanced and DynamoDB mapper. So first of all, we need this client to connect our Java application to the Amazon DynamoDB to perform the CRUD operation there. So there are some difference between this DynamoDB mapper and DynamoDB enhanced client. They have improved the DynamoDB enhanced client a little. So let's see what have they done in DynamoDB enhanced client over this mapper. So these are the main features they worked on to overcome this, uh, like whatever the problems they had. The first thing is the API design. So in DynamoDB member, it's left initiative and in DynamoDB enhanced, it is very fluent and expressive. When you try to use it, you will feel the difference between these two. So in the SDK integration, you can see this DynamoDB mapper is a version one and this is version two. So going to the upgraded version is always the recommended one. So pick one wisely. So next thing is the asynchronous support. So asynchronous support will be limited in DynamoDB mapper and there's a native support. You can use it directly without any uh, external asynchronous task. So error handling and these are the criteria where they worked on and improved the DynamoDB mapper into DynamoDB enhanced client. So to integrate this DynamoDB enhanced client into your code, there are certain criteria we need to follow, like kind of certain steps. If you are able to complete it properly, you will be able to establish a connection. You can perform a CRUD operation with your Java application or uh, whatever the application you have to the DynamoDB enhanced client. To the, to the DynamoDB. So let's see, uh, in this video, I will explain you, like I will go with a practical demo of uh, integrating this DynamoDB and Java application. It's kind of going to be a core Java, not a Spring Boot, any, any kind of framework. So it's going to be very easy. So uh, let's create a project with like Maven project. So in the project, just go to this pom.xml file and add this dependency. So let's go do this. So I already created this project here. So this is a Maven project, it's simple code Java Maven project where you have this project structure as this when you try to create it. So inside it, I have a main uh, like fresh code where you see this hello world, right? So fresh code, I have done anything. So what we can do to integrate this DynamoDB enhanced client is just go to this pom.xml, example, create a dependency, dependencies and just paste this. Yeah. So I'm just syncing this. Okay, one second. I'm waiting. Okay, fine. So once it is done, yeah, it got synced. So hooray, now we got this DynamoDB enhanced thing into our project. So what this will be the next step? It's very simple. The next step is nothing but we need to create a table first, right? So to establish a connection, there must be a table in the DynamoDB. It is in Amazon console. So let's go to go there and create a table. So this is the actually, uh, so this is the DynamoDB console of Amazon. So let, let me create a table here. Yeah, it's for now, for the sake, I'm just creating the table name on the partition key. So uh, about this DynamoDB, it's it's really uh, flexible. So you can add number n number of data according to your criteria. So if you, you need to know more about DynamoDB, then you can uh, read it out in any of the articles. So I'm not going to cover the same in this video. I'm just going to create a table of DynamoDB here. So let me create a customer table here. Let's name it as customer and partition key will be customer ID. Yeah, that's, that's it, Vienna. Even you can just select the data type of this partition key. This is very important. Like it, it will act as a primary key in our table. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to create a table here. So once it is done, uh, we are ready with our table. Yeah, it's active. Got it. Yeah, I just attached the, uh, in this article I have attached a video to create, how to create a table. So, which I also demonstrated in this video as well. Yeah, so we did the exact same step here to do this. Yeah, so next, uh, we already have the project, right? <clears throat> now, 
let's create a configuration package inside com.xml maybe whatever you have i have it as a com.xml just i'm creating a package configuration I uh, need not to be the same exact spelling. It, it is, it's how I develop. So you can use your uh, convenient package or you can directly put it, put it everything in the main itself. It, it's your convenience. To maintain some protocols, it's just following to have this inside the configuration folder. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what we are going to do is inside this configuration, we are just copying this code. Okay. So I will explain what this code will do. So just go create a configuration Java class. Okay, we are just pasting this. Okay. Okay, lots of error, right? Okay, let let us import everything here. So these particular classes are available inside this uh, package what we have added in pom.xml. So it's very it's just an import that we need to do here. Yeah, that's it. We are good to go. So everything you can see everything is under uh, aws sdk so you need not to worry about the packages and how we connect the connect to the, the aws console it's everything the sdk will take care of the only thing is we need to configure it properly okay so let me explain it uh, one by one like um, this is the initiating part where i'm calling this client so before getting into the client we do we do two things here one is uh, we need to extra like we need to create a DynamoDB enhanced client. So DynamoDB enhanced client internally ac have a access over a DynamoDB client. So where well, let's explore this method as well. Uh, you can see uh, I'm just creating as an atomic to have it as a thread safe, and uh, directly I'm just having it like if it is null then I'm going to create a client here. If it is not I'm going to return it again. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I'm initially I'm creating a DynamoDB enhanced client builder. So inside it, I'm passing a DynamoDB client. So this particular method is the main one where we connect our AWS Amazon DB. Like we use a uh, username password to connect to our uh, console, right? The same thing is will be happening here. So what is what it is is we use this uh, access key and secret key to do this along with the uh, region. So I will explain how what it is and how to configure everything in your uh, like system. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the console first. Yeah. Fine. Uh, this US East one region is fetched directly from the region where you created this table. I am created a table is Virginia where US East one. So that's why I'm just having it as US East one. If you create a table inside some like uh, Mumbai, then it should be AP South one. So uh, configure accordingly. Okay. So uh, next, we need to get this access key and secret key to connect to this DynamoDB, right? It's very simple. You can go to IA. So uh, where we create this access key and uh, secret key. For the demonstration purpose, I'm just to create a more like a local environment access key and local uh, secret key. So go to this user. So let's create a user. Let me keep it as uh, DynamoDB or something. Then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach this policy directly. So policy is nothing but uh, the permission uh, which this user has. So I'm just creating a permission here like DynamoDB full access so that I will have an entire access to the, to the DynamoDB to read, write, like update and everything. Yeah, that's it. We create a user with this role privilege. So once it is done, we need to extract this access key and secret key, right? So go inside the user, go to the security credential and go down. Yeah, we have this success key, right? Create access key. So for uh, the demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a local code. Yes. So once it is done, we have created our access key and secret key. Please take, uh, please store this somewhere because once this screen goes on, then you cannot retrieve this data. So I'm just having this access key here. So I'm copying the access key here and uh, this is secret key. Okay. So maybe I will remove this after this video. Okay, fine. Everything is, looks fine. 
next what is the next step right let's remove this aloe over yep okay so this is how we get the success key and secret key and get the configuration done we are done our configuration we are connected like connection configuration is done so next we perform a crud operation here right it's very pretty obvious so the same exact step what we have done in there like in our video i have just explained it everything in this article you can just go through this to replicate the same the second like first thing we established the client configuration and the second thing we should establish the table bean right so with this bean we can perform this hibernate operation which is you can using this particular uh, pojo class you can directly like save data retrieve data it's going to be very easy when you use this animo db map like bean uh, to make you see very easy let me create a model package so customers right our table name is customers so let me create a customer class and here whatever the thing we need but mandate really we need this customer id because that is our partition key okay that is should be string so name gender sorry then Uh, okay, then let's create a getter setters, then a constructor. Oops. So this is all our constructor, and let me create a nox constructor. That's it. Yeah. So we have created a pojo classes with the necessary data. So what we need to do is, so this particular four data need to be encapsulated in our uh, DynamoDB table, where this customer ID will be a column. First name will be the column, then gender, and it represents each column. To do this, we need to create an annotation like DynamoDB mapper. DynamoDB, like DynamoDB bean. So this mentions this particular customer is going to be a table and this is a bean, right? So next thing we need to mention the partition tree, right? The partition tree that we have mentioned there. Just go to this, say, the getter, getter of this customer ID. So go to this getter of the customer ID, just annotate with dynamo db partition key and dynamo db attribute so attribute is nothing but uh, the spelling the spelling should be the same one what we given there so i have given underscore there so let it be like under customer underscore id fine yep i think everything looks fine right so similar similar pojo class have been written here so customer id partition key and then everything is same for the pojo yeah so the step number two is over. Let's go to the step number three. With the using this bean, we need to create a table. Then with that table, we need to uh, do the CRUD operation and everything. Okay, let's see next step. So after this, doing this POJO classes and annotating with the partition keys, next we need to create this schema. You can do it directly in the main, main itself. So this customer and this is table schema. And uh, maybe you can put it outside yeah. to make uh, make use of this globally. Okay, fine. You can see now I have just created a schema for this customer using this bean customer class, like which is class what we have created. So now we have created a bean of like sk table schema for this DynamoDB. Done. Using this bean, then we are going to create a table now. It's very simple. This single line will create a table. That's it. DynamoDB table, customer, DynamoDB table. And we have created a client, right? DynamoDB enhanced client. Just import it from configuration. But unfortunately, it's private, right? So what we can do is, we can use this particular method to get the DynamoDB enhanced client outside of this particular class. So let's just go and type like dynamo db. Okay, that's it. We don't want this. That's it. We have created dynamo db client at the table schema of customer. Yes, done. 
next create a like you just feed the pojo class just feed the pojo class with no database let's let's have this culture gender as male uh, set first name as dynamo set last name as db yeah our object is ready so using this we can do the crud operation so for the inserting data it's very simple just put customer dynamo db table put item customer uh, this particular thing will do like uh, just enter this entire value to or uh, take this value to dynamo db let's run this program let me run this one okay I think it's done uh, because there is no logs printed yet, so it's uh, not clear. Let's go to the console and check. Okay. So let's go to the Dynamo DB again. So tables, customer. So go to the explore table items. Yes, we got a like got a record. Customer ID twelve, first name, gender, last name, and everything. Okay, inserting is pretty fun, right? So let's delete this. Just delete items will do this for you. Oops, I just didn't give the message. So let's omit this. Let's check directly in the console itself. Let me refresh this. Yes, the record is gone. Uh, let me uh, update it. Then like let me put the record and let's let me update it. So updating is also not a big deal. So just keep this twelve as same and just change this to female. So updating is also very easy. Yeah, you see, uh, it is updated to male to female. And if you want to update DB to some random text, so this particular DB will be also updated to the random text. Yeah, we let me re refresh it. Yes. So updating is also very easy, right? So what else is that left? Yeah, getting item. Yeah, getting item is little bit tricky, but it's, it is also going to be very easy. So uh, for getting an item, we need to build a key before getting an item, right? We usually query, right? So whatever the thing we need to get it from the table, you need to query it first, like add some filters and need to put it into this uh, client. So for the filter purpose, we are going to use this key. So in this particular key, uh, I have mentioned this partition value as 12. So this key will retrieve the partition, like if the particular partition value is 12, uh, it will retrieve the particular data. Let, let us try this thing. I don't want to delete it. Uh, instead, you can also delete with uh, key as well. So I have deleted with uh, direct uh, like object. Yeah. So getting item is very easy. Just get item. DynamoDB. Like don't want to get key, right? Yes, so we are getting it, but uh, we are need, we need to print it, right? So only then we will know what it is, right? So let me put in dot. You can see directly. You can see we are getting an object here, right? So let me print the first name. System dot out dot print and first name of the record. What we get from the table? Yes, we got Dynamo. So if you want get uh, gender. Uh, we have changed the gender to female, right? So let let us check. Yes, that's it. So that's it about the uh, DynamoDB uh, mapper versus DynamoDB enhanced client. So what we saw in this video was DynamoDB enhanced client. So it's very easy to configure and very easy to use compared to DynamoDB mapper. So uh, those who have any doubts regarding this uh, or any technical related stuff, you can ping me anytime. Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.